okay guys you are welcome back so we need to let me click on it i don't know why it's not going the other time so i need to click on it again so i've click on it let's wait for the page to come up and as i said if it is not enough we are going to do it manually so we are going to go to the settings so i believe it's coming up so let's go all right good so here is the link to to link our um credit card and debit card okay as you can see that we are having two options here the first option says link a credit card okay so with your atm card that you you have trusted that you know that you can make at least um different transactions with it and it's secured so you can add it then the second option you can also add a usa bank account as that for me i've added my federal service co uh, federal service community account which is my us bank account i've linked it i forget to show you the other time but if you want to if you want to see it i can show you so now so you click on link link credit card okay so here is where we are going to link our debit card account to this account so we can perform a transaction all right so when it comes to this step okay um what's it called paper normally select card but nevertheless you are going to keep on trying okay so let me i think i have a card here so let me just try to use the card if it is going to work and um, i'll be pasting the funniest part of it is that uh, if you are watching this video for the first time and um you are seeing this right now i'll be putting in the username and the login details for this account so you can just you can be the lucky guy to to get it so i won't be making use of it i'll give you the details so i'll drop it at the description below so if you be the first person that is watching this video you can just get it and make use of it yourself so let me try to add my i'm having a wema alert here so let me try to add it let me try to add it if it is going to work if it is going to work so that is how it's you are going to input the card number here then you select the expiring date so mine is um this then you select your cvc okay you select your cvc in some cases you have to have um enough balance like maybe a dollar now is around 700 so you need to have like 1000 naira. but in this case i don't normally make use of this card that's why i'm just using it for a test okay so let me see let me click on add card if it is going to work so you can see right now that is not working okay this card is not working so that means we need to try another bank card we need to try another bank card we need to try another one so i'm having another one here let me see if this is going to work as well let me see if it is going to work if it is going to work so let me try this let me try this if it is going to work guys i want to try it so let's see if it is going to work let's see if it is going to work if you are trying if you have tried like three different cards and okay let me just try to link this first let me try to link this let me see what is going to let me see let me see okay all right now you know the reason why this is is going to accept this card okay you know that the option that is giving us the other time is quite different from this now because i told you earlier that you must have at least one thousand error here at least one dollar on your card because um paper is going to charge you a dollar but they are going to return it to your account to confirm that um to trigger this account that maybe is real or not okay now the reason why this card is not going that is that i don't have enough funds on it i don't have up to one dollar in it 
so i'm not making use of it the other card is made for transactions that i've already linked with different accounts so i believe it is only these two card and i'm using access access visa card right now and it's going to accept it so once you have enough font so just try it and once you have been able to add the card i greet you congratulations okay but if you're having issues in this aspect just deal me deal me i'll drop my number in the description button below okay so now let's go back to my account okay so now let's assume you've already gotten a paypal account and it has already been verified so the next thing for you now to do is to fund your account okay so now how do you fund your paper account how do you fund your paper account there are two means you can use to fund your paper account okay now the first one is to request for money okay you are going to request for money from someone that is using paper and is having um, a lot of funds in his account so how do you go about this so you can see right here that you are seeing request for money here so you click on this request for money so once you click on it it's going to take you to where you are going to input the amount you want to request for and it's going to you can see it right here so request so you are going to click on this 000 so let me say i wanted to request for 50 dollars from someone okay now where you are seeing add an email or name this is where you are going to input the person's gmail okay if you want to send money to someone you must um the person account number will be his email address okay so now let me request for money from my previous account okay so i believe my previous account the email for my previous account is um this one so once i click on it like this and i click on next it's going to notify me in the other account that someone is trying to request money from you so if i want to pay it i will just pay with my card directly okay i'll pay with my card directly so you can see right now you can see it so if i'm to request for the money now automatically it's going to go so i've clicked on request for money i've requested for 50 dollars you can see right now you requested for 50 dollars from my email so guys if you can see now recent activities built to nisi blah 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 you can see it right here on my screen 50 usd so now if i'm to if i'm to send the money you are going to see it here in your balance okay now it's not a must you have your balance here okay it's not a must it's not a must you have money in your balance you can make any transaction directly once your card is being linked with that account Okay, now to confirm what I'm saying, let's go to VP fast and do a transaction. I will be right back. So, guys, here is the account. Okay, I'm trying to buy. Um, I'm trying to fund my um, Alipay account right now with this. Um, with this website. Okay, if you want to learn how this website works, you can. With this website, you can fund your Alipay account. With this um, secret website so now um there are different types of payment options you can see right here and we are going to be making use of paper so i click on paper here i've already changed it so clicking on paper directly so i click on next they are going to be charging me 17.21 dollars for just 100 rmb okay so i click on pay now I click on pay now so i'm waiting for the pay to come up so once you can see right now that it has automatically directed me to my paypal account directly so they are going to remove it so you can see right here that it is a very clean and um direct access you can see right now that you are having um ship to this is it and this is amount they are charging me 17.20 this thing so now if i thought i've already added my card you are going to see pay with my debit card is going to be showing here it is because i have not added my card so let me click on continue so you can see right here that it is my address so 
once i linked my bank card is going to be showing directly here it's going to be showing directly so that is how to make the payments so now what i'll do now is to pause this video and use my main paypal account as an example for you to see what i'm saying you know i have not linked my card here but the one that i'm using i have already linked my card so for you to see the differences so let me pause the video and go there so let's go ahead and make another request let's go ahead so i click on paper i've already logged in my the other paper account which is my mail paper account okay so let's now see the difference let's do the comparison okay so now i click on pay now pay now so automatically it's going to open my paper account right here for you to see what i'm saying the differences okay now with this account i've already added my bank bravo bravo now you can see hey somewhere all right now pay with this is my bank card the card that i've already had it and is breaking it down for me that they are going to be charging me a rate of 7472.50 cobo that is what they are going to be charging me so automatically right now if i'm to click on continue to review order they are going to send me an otp and deduct the money from my card and not my paper directly but i'm just using paper as a medium as a, a a intermediary to make the payment okay i'm only making payments through that card so do you understand what i'm trying to say here so that is how to set a paper account okay now if you are finding it very difficult to use this method i'll be showing you another alternative method to buy a paper fund there's something we call paper fund okay there are different websites that you can use to buy uh, paper fund if you want them to fund your paper account directly you are just going to pay them in naira and they are going to help you to fund the website directly so so you can see that um under this continue review order you can see it there that element color technology that is where you are paying to and you can if you can remember in the previous um video that i show you from the beginning of this video i make a payment to a company related to this so that is how it works guys that is how it works okay so now guys remember now we need to fund our paper balance so here is the available method that we can use to fund our paper balance remember the other time that we sent um money requests to my other account here so this is it we sent a 50 dollar money request if you can remember on oh, how i do that so we wanted to use this method to fund my account so with this we are going to go to the email it's not a must that the person is on paper you can easily pay with your you can easily make payments with your bank card okay so now we are going to log out um this account and go to my normal main account to fund this new account i hope you are getting what i'm trying to do here i request money as if i wanted to collect money from my normal account which is 50 dollars so once i clicked and log into the other account i'm going to pay with my card my bank card directly so once i make payments with my bank card it's going to reflect here on my main paypal account directly so guys let me quickly log out this account now and log in my new my previous account so i click on log out so i want to log out i want to log out guys to log out so let me just wait for this to log out now i want to log in my new account okay so now i click on login <laughs> i hope this what i'm doing is not going to affect my account so i clicked on login so let me input my new account now, which is samuel joshua okay so i click on login i want to check the mod if um paper have already sent you can see now you can see now a uh, paper has already been uh, 
been suspicious the way i'm logging out and logging in can you see hey i just pray nothing happens to my account okay so security channel mountains this is mountain this is mountain this is mountain okay hmm. just pray nothing happens to my account god so guys welcome to my account this is my um my normal account so you can see money in, money out so you can see this is my normal account okay so now let's check the money that we requested for this is the email um my paper my normal paper account that we requested for 50 dollars so let's see it at the notification center here let's scroll down let's scroll down let's scroll down you can see right here that it has already been shown okay you have one bill that needs to be paid can you see money request from joshua store which is the new account we just created so all what you ought all what we need to do now is to click on this request and make the payment directly so that is the method you can use you can see it now pending so you need to send the payment you click on send payment now okay send payment so let me click i've already clicked on the send payment so i'm waiting for this page to come up waiting for this page to come up waiting for this page to come up okay bravo so now we want to fund the new account we just created guys you can see this this is 50 dollars that i requested for on the new account it can never be changed you cannot edit it okay now what is this payment for you can change it to anything you like okay so now this is it and now this is what paper is going to be charging me okay 21,722 naira 40 kobo for 50 dollars okay so once i'm okay with this i'm going to click on send payments now and you can see it that is linked with my card they are going to automatically deduct this money on my account guys i hope you are getting this so they are going to automatically deduct it from my account directly so now this is what you are going to do for a testing and for the first time you can just request for ten dollar or five dollar to test the account and to make it active you know i'm not having up to this right now but let's just click on send payments now send payments now and let's see what is going to happen can you see now it's because i'm not having up to this amount in this account that is why it's not going do you understand so if at all i have up to this amount automatically now the uh paper account is going to charge this my atm card and they are going to deduct this amount and once they deduct it i'm going to see it in my balance directly so guys all this haven't been said this is how to create a verified paper account from a to z and how you can fund it in nigeria here okay but if this is getting you stressed up and you don't want to follow the whole procedure that i've just mentioned now you can dm me i'll drop my my whatsapp number at the description button below i'll tell you a method that you can also use to fund your account which is website there are some websites that they sell paper from they are going to tell you how much they are going to be selling the dollar one dollar they are going to be telling you the rates so if you are okay with it you pay them in naira and they are going to fund it directly for you okay guys see you in my next video i love you and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel